Hey guys, um, so I am helping Rose with her YouTube channel today. She has been promising everybody to show the end results of our backyard gazebo makeover. We are pretty much done with it. We've got a few little things we've got to fix, but um, we're going to go ahead and show it. Um, you forgot to introduce Amani. Oh, and this is Amani, if <laughs> you all have met her. Hi, baby. She's a little mad at me. Right? Right now. Hi. And she completely ignores me when her mother's around. <laughs> so, no, she is um, just ready to show. But anyways, I'm going to start from the ground up, just yep. kind of tell you what we did. I think Rose is showing you guys a before picture right now. Yeah. And um, I'll just kind of go through everything and kind of give you an idea of what we paid for stuff. And if you want to do uh, like a little home makeover to your backyard, you can actually do it pretty affordable if you're willing to get your hands dirty. So Please. we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. So the first thing I did is we poured our concrete. Mm -hmm. And um, this was about four yards of concrete, five yards of concrete, I believe. Four or five yards. I don't remember exactly. But the total cost of the concrete was around $600. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I had some friends and some neighbors come over and help me pour it. So I saved on labor and um, we poured the concrete. And so all the labor was free labor, have some amazing neighbors. So that's what I did first. Um, once we were done with that, we moved the forms and then we, uh, we went and got sod for the back, for the grass. Yeah. We're still missing a few sections, but um, we're gonna wait till next spring to add the rest of it just because that's what I, an expert told me to do. So I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's what we're <laughs> going to do. Um, so then we paid about $800 for sod. It pretty much sodded most of the backyard and I was still missing a little bit on the sides too. Um, some of this grass over here was already grown in. So that saved us a little bit there. And I think by next year it'll all kind of come together and be grown in once we, uh, we've have an expert that's kind of told us some different things to do to make it all tie in so so right now we're at about eight hundred dollars on sod about six hundred on concrete and then let's go to the um actual gazebo so and that is what we were building a gazebo yes so the gazebo um there's multiple ways you could do it i was trying to do it cost effective and still fancy or still pretty i guess so um I went with a little cheaper route. I did six by six posts at the corners. And then around the top edge, I did two by eight posts. A lot of people use six by six posts there as well. But with the price of them, I um, decided to go with two by two by eights. Yeah. So um, anyways, we built that. And the material cost for that, I think, was around $750, um, roughly. Yeah, so, um, very affordable. Yep, so we're now we're right about, I think we're about $2,200 there. Mm -hmm. So we've got that all built, and then we added some string lights. I think we got 100 foot of string lights, and I think it was like 48 bucks for 100 foot of string lights. Yep. Um, we got them at, was it Home Depot, wasn't it? No. Yeah, Home Depot. Home Depot, yes. We got them yes. at Home Depot for about 50 bucks. Yep. So, um, and then let's swing over here to the okay. rooftop. Yeah, so now we did the roof. The roof cost about $350 for the roof. And we got it from a, um, a Maloof Weathertight Solutions. They're a local company here that makes metal panels. Um, and uh, we did, we've done, we did all the work ourselves or our neighbor came out and what have you. So let's head on in. And I'll show you guys the next thing. This is my favorite. When we moved here, they said no one will ever build behind you. But what they didn't tell us is that they were going to make us put up a fence. So, I got you here, Imani. <laughs> I got to readjust that a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, it's hard to do. want to be able to see out there and have a little thing to sit down. So, Ooh. this is what we built. We did this pretty cheap. I think it was about 20 bucks for the materials. Yeah, so you can see 
Yeah, you can just chill and you can just see kind of the woods area that we have back here. And you actually can see, um, what are they called? Deer? Yeah, they come up there. Right yeah, there. so deer come up through here in the evening and we can watch them. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. So. Let me see yeah. a good way. Open so. it up. So this is our fence, basically. Yeah, so we took the fence. Yep. And then we just put these little hinges at the bottom. Added another 2x4, which I need to paint still. And then we did that right there. So you have this open. So you can sit here and actually just watch. Just the backyard there. which it's like trees over here mm -hmm. and down there there's snakes that's where all the snakes are coming from yep okay <laughs> head on in honey so we can close it and move on and yeah. and then we have three electrical outlets one's underneath here for the refrigerator the second one is up there for the string lights the third one is down here for cell phones or whatever you want to charge and then we have a ceiling fan, an outdoor fan, and a light, or whatever we need. So, did all that for under 100 bucks. For anybody, it probably cost a lot more than that, but I just lucked out, and I've got a really nice neighbor that came over here and helped me do it all for pretty much free, is all I had to do is pay for the materials. Yeah. So, um, that was pretty cool. Um, and then let's move on to the grill. So, the grill, I picked it up for free. Um, actually, my brother's neighbor was getting rid of it. I'm going to tag them on Facebook in it and tell them thank you. Um, but uh, we had to spend about $200 in parts, I believe, to get it running good. So we had to sand it out and re-get it up, but it is good to go. It's a hibachi. So, and it is a hibachi grill. Is it um, hibachi or hibachi? Hibachi. Hibachi, okay. So that's <laughs> And then the concrete countertop, I did myself. I ordered the uh, concrete countertop mix from Lowe's. And this took about seven bags. It was about $150 in materials. So um, I stood out here for hours until it completely dried, just making it smooth as could be with the little tool. This was my first one, and I think I did pretty good for it. Yeah, so smooth. I got a little excited and pulled the forms off early and busted this, so I had to redo this one. Um, I've got an idea to sand it out. I'm going to add some stain here later, mm -hmm. so I think I can hide that, but we'll we'll see. Um, and then, as far as framing up the whole thing, I actually picked up the metal studs from uh, a job site I was on. They were extras, so I, um, I was able to take them home and uh, basically frame it out for free. Then the stonework here, uh, we looked at a couple places and the stone was flat out expensive. Yep. Um, it, it was like eight, nine dollars a square foot. So um, anyway, I was like, well, maybe we should do tile, maybe we should do something else. So we ended up going to Home Depot and they just, or no, it was Lowe's. Was it Lowe's or Home Depot? Home uh, Depot. Home Depot. We went to Home Depot. And this just happened to be one they were discontinuing. The color fit well with the house and the fence. Yep. And so we went ahead and went with it. And I think we, I think we bought all of the stone for under two hundred dollars. So yeah, we just, which that was such a good deal. Yeah, we we if this thing has taken us about four months to do, and we've looked but, for deals and right. different stuff to be affordable. So it took us a little longer to do, but I think it was worth it with the money we saved. Um, we still have some little mortar and stuff to clean up. Rose did these corners here. I'm going to call her out. Yeah, no, they're I'm not as she perfect. <laughs> but it was a fun, I have uh, it was a fun, it doesn't have to be perfect. It was a fun job that we did yeah. together and enjoyed. Now we have a fridge. And we got the mini fridge. And I think we did, and it's got, it comes with a little freezer on it. But, um, I think we did, um, uh. What was that, $125? Yeah. Fridge, brand mm -hmm. new. You can buy at Lowe's. Um, and then uh, we got the propane set up there. I've got a few things to finish off inside here to kind of close it off and kind of right. finish it up. Um, but we'll. Um, but it's huge, we'll, and you have a lot of space. If, for me, cooking, mm -hmm. I love a lot of space in the kitchen. So I have here, we have there, we have a fridge. Um, so it's, it's huge. Yeah, so it's going to make for a fun outdoor once we get it. Once we start doing it. Yeah, we made some eggs today, so we tested out. Yep. And then patio furniture. 
Oh my gosh. It is expensive. We could not find anything under $800. And we, we have been looking for patio furniture pretty much since the beginning. And we've been looking and looking and looking, haven't found anything. This is obviously not the most expensive patio furniture, but we did finally find a deal. This was on sale the day we bought it for what, 300? Was, was it, it 350? 350. It was for sale for 350. So and we, guess where? <laughs> we got it from Kroger. Right. So, um, just so cute. They were trying to get rid of it. It was and, 700 initially. Yeah, so we got, was on sale. we got lucky. They were trying to get rid of it. So, I guess we hit at that at the perfect time. And it comes with like. So, a lot of this is about timing and keeping an eye out and watching for things. Right. It was a big thing and asking questions and looking around. Like I said, this thing isn't perfect, but we built it to what we, to where it's very enjoyable for us. Yeah. So, um, right now the sun is like a little bit too much. We'll show you guys when the sun goes down. Yeah, we'll show you guys the string lights and everything. It's a lot more romantic out here in the evening. This Georgia heat's a little hot right now. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what else? Did we miss anything? Um. No, I, I think, think that is everything. Yeah, it's like it. showing the details on your work. I think. Yeah, we did the little um uh, crows. What is it called? The bird's foot on the end. So, just to kind of make it look cool, I guess. So. So overall, I think we spent right around $3,000. $3,000? Somewhere between 3000 and 3500 I'll have to look at everything. We'll put the final prices on there. Now, Perfect. how about someone, if someone else is trying to do this, and keep in mind you are in construction, so you built this by yourself. The only thing that you right. got help was this, and you, you know, just like a little bit help, and then electrical work. But you built this whole thing by yourself, everything. Yeah, not everyone is in construction and it may not be feasible for everyone to do. But, but um, how much do you think they would have to spend? Oh gosh, to have someone do something like this, the concrete, the, probably over 10 grand. Yeah. Probably what it would cost. So yeah. if you just take Labor. extra little time to try to build something yourself, even like the gazebo, you can look on like YouTube and they'll show you way better ways, way, way better products to use. Um, yeah. Like I said, we're trying to be very affordable, but um, because we're not living here yeah, forever. We're not living here forever, and we just wanted something just nice for us to enjoy while we're here. So.
Good morning. Hi. so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this, this together. Um, and uh, I think we're going to finish up some little details on it later on when we have more time and add a couple things to it. So we'll share that with you guys when we do. But, uh, have a good day. And uh, if you're looking for a way to make your wife happy, there you go. Yeah! <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you.